Vlog number two. Coming to you from Concordia's weight room. Well, the weight room that's above the Gangelhoff Center. <laughs> Alright, so I had a meet at St. Thomas this weekend. And I don't have any film for y'all because I just don't. I'm sorry. But uh, I got there. I had some great warm-ups. There were a lot of guys, so I didn't get very many of them. But I uh, got there. Uh, once I started actually vaulting bars, I went over my first two or three bars with no problem. Then I went for my PR, and which should have been like nothing compared to the vaults I had earlier, and I choked. So yeah, obviously I'm kind of disappointed that I couldn't keep that bar up. So, to relieve my stress, I'm here. In the weight room. At, let's see, it's about 8 o'clock at night. And I would have been working on some vault stuff. But, currently downstairs in the, on the indoor track, there's a bunch of people on unicycles and juggling. It's really quick... And the light just went off on me. Alright then. So, I got the lights back on. And like I was saying, downstairs on the indoor track facilities here at Concordia, there are like probably a hundred people just juggling and riding unicycles. It's quite strange. And they closed all the facilities. So technically I'm not even supposed to be here right now in the weight room, but... I have a friend that works down one that let me in. But yeah, it's quite strange. And I don't know what to say about it. Kind of mad I don't get to use my indoor facilities to work on pole runs and stuff like that, but quite strange. I'm going to talk with him on win -win. Everyone chant, you believe. Uh, I'm not in. Oh. So, instead of being downstairs working on pole runs and pike drills and swing up bars and whatever else, I'm here in the weight room. Uh, plan on getting some stuff done today. Uh, working on some strength and uh, possibly getting, working on some speed stuff and hopefully I'll transition into next week while I'm at the University of Minnesota Twin Cities, the Snowshoe Open to try to get some higher bars. Uh, I'd really like to to be sitting nice for the conference meet, the NSIC conference meet in two weeks. So that last video was uh, what I kind of did in the weight room here tonight. Uh, I also had some other stuff that I just didn't get on video, like I worked on the treadmill, worked on my 
sprinting form and did some free weight stuff, also some bench press and some curls and a little even uh, some power clean. But yeah, so that was just kind of what I wanted to do tonight. I did a lot of lightweight stuff because I'm in mid-season working on competition mode, so not really trying to push myself over the top in weight, uh, just mainly focusing on using my muscles for explosion so I can get better results at the meets. Alright, so I decided to move places from the weight room because I just wanted a comfier place to sit. So right now I got this like nice couch I'm sitting on. But yeah, it was just kind of uncomfortable sitting on like the bench press bench. And I'm okay sitting here. I got a backrest and it's kind of comfy and I got a pretty cool view of the indoor track facility here at Concordia. So now, anybody that knows me in real life knows not to bring up pole vault around me because I can sit and talk about it for hours on end without stopping because I'm pretty passionate about pole vaulting. But since this is a pole vault vlog, I get to talk about pole vaulting. So here it goes. So, unless you've been living under a rock, you would have heard about Mondu Duplantis, the high school junior who is making big leaps in the pole vault. Recently, he has been going higher than any college athlete in the NCAA. By quite a bit, actually. And at the Milrose Games, he did it again. He broke his own personal PR and went 18 feet. 10 and a quarter inches, which is insane. So, Mondu Duplantis, I'm calling this right now, will be the world record holder one day and will be considered the GOAT. At the same games, Miss Sandy Morris went 4.72 meters, was not able to make 4.82 meters, but got the silver at 4.72, which it's not bad. She's pretty consistent. That's the third time this year she's got that. Also at the Mills Rose Games, Miss Katie Nazat. By the way, that's actually how you pronounce her last name. Well, right there, that's her Twitter, but you pronounce her last name Nazat. Went 4.62 meters, which is one centimeter below her all time PR. And it's pretty early in the season to be going that high. So could we see Katie go 4.7 meters this year and join that club? Or even higher? I don't know. Could be interesting. And to finish off the pole vault news, Mr. Ex-Professional Vaulter Sean Francis was seeing Fifty Shades Darker this weekend. I'm not 100% positive of that, but Saw his tweets, and I'm going to assume that he was watching Fifty Shades Darker, and possibly with his girlfriend. So good for you, Sean. Okay, to finish off, I'd like to talk a little bit more about being a student athlete. Um, so, yesterday was Friday, just for reference, and yesterday I was at St. Thomas for a track meet. I got back probably at 11 o'clock at night. Had to bring the pole bag back to the indoor facility, which is behind me. And then, to finish off, uh, I went and hung out with some friends, so I got to bed at like 2 a.m., which is probably not the wisest decision. Today, I slept in till like noon, went, got breakfast, and Sat watching Netflix the entire day, which was not the smartest decision. Then decided to come here to the weight room, get my lift done. Then decided to start working on the vlog. Also not the greatest decision at this moment. So, uh, tomorrow is going to be Sunday. And I'm going to be spending basically my entire day in the library because I'm behind on homework. Need to catch up on that. I've got a lot of it, and I've got some exams to study for. So, I really would suggest once becoming a college athlete to really.
crack down your schoolwork because it's tough. And yeah, I mean, I can't describe it any other way than it's really difficult to manage everything. And But you also get your perks of being a track athlete in college and being a student athlete. And I mean, it's fun. But you just got to know when to bear down, get it bear down, because I'm at Concordia, where our mascot's the Golden Bears. But uh, so you got to bear down and really get done your homework done. So that's what I got to finish off with. One last thing before I go. To find out a little bit more about professional vaulting or just follow my vaulting or whatever, you can follow me here on Twitter at Jepson14, which has ironically the same username as my YouTube, uh, where I post, post all my vlogs, which you can like and subscribe. And then also, I have an Instagram where I post a lot of pictures and videos from my pole vaulting. That's actually basically all I post. It's, oh, here we go. Okay, can we get this to adjust better? Not really. But my username is at JetMoneyPoleVault. That's at A, or the at symbol thingy, J-E-P-P-M-O-N-E-Y underscore P-V. And I post a lot of pictures and videos, as you can tell, from my vaulting and everything. And yeah, I mean, go follow me on Instagram and like my pictures. I'll take the extra likes. Peace! Also, if you go to my Twitter, you can see this really funny video of me snapping my pole. This was my senior year of high school at the regional meet. Yeah, not the greatest time to snap a pole, but still a funny video with a funny caption. It's my pinned tweet. Go like it, retweet it, share it, whatever.